Well, things haven't gone according to plan this morning. My alarm clock, um, small black and fairy one that it is, failed to go off at 5.30, which is when he's usually been jumping on me for the last two weeks. Um, so, I missed the sunrise, which is a bit disappointing, considering when I looked out the window, it looked pretty darn nice. Um, so that kind of threw out the whole uh, sunrise photography idea. So, what am I going to do? Well, firstly, I'm going to make myself a cup of uh, hot brown, and then um, I'm going to do some planning. Okay then, so what's the plan for today? Well, no sunrise shoot. A bit disappointing, but uh, these things happen. I'm going to do it tomorrow, weather permitting. Um, I think I'll go for a sunset shoot. I've got a plan. The place up in the Scottish border is called St Abbs, and um, where St Abbs is, the coastline curves round to the left. Um, to the west so, which means we will be able to see hopefully fingers crossed a decent sunset providing the weather plays ball I haven't checked the weather yet I'm going to have a look but uh, the plan is to go up to St Abbs um, recce a place called the Smuggler's Bothy which is on the coast it's maybe about 15 minutes away from St Abbs park up at St Abbs then walk up to Portico Wick do some nice, uh, hopefully, um, slow shot speed photography down um, by the the beach down in the bay. Then climb up to the the top of the cliffs and shoot along to the west to get um, a nice sunset photograph. Whether that happens or not, <laughs> that's part and parcel of uh, landscape photography. You just plan as best you can and uh, turn up and if the weather doesn't play ball the weather doesn't play ball but hopefully today we will get some decent photographs Right, hey, right, okay, we're here. Well, when I say we're here, we've actually, um, I've stopped off on the way up to, uh, up to the borders. Uh, I've stopped off at, at, uh, at a place called Corby's Crags, which is just outside of, of Anak. And, uh, yeah, it's probably my favourite view in, in most of Northumberland. And uh, what I've discovered is I've discovered a really cool little waterfall, which normally there won't, shouldn't be a waterfall here. But because of the amount of water we've had uh, in rain and stuff like that, um, I'll just turn this around and, and show you it. It's it's pretty cool. So if you can see that uh, that uh, silver birch there, and the water's just coming right off the um, off the uh, off the top of the crag and running down a bit, and it looks really cool. We've got the blue sky up there, we've got some lovely clouds, and we've got this is the view. So, uh, yeah, Let's turn this back around so get okay, focused on me again. Yeah, so just thought I'd do a little quick stop, um, maybe get a quick time lapse and one or two things. Um, but what I'll do is I'll quickly run you through the settings I've got on the camera. Um, let's turn that on. So you can see there. I don't think you can really see that. But anyway, what I'm, what I'm doing is I've got it set at F. 13 um, with ISO 100 just to make sure uh, you know you get the, the, the lowest uh, noise on the picture um, I've got polarizers to take the glare off, off the wet rocks I've got an 8 uh, an ND8 filter and then a graduated ND8 filter to bring the sky back a bit and yeah I'm I'm, uh, I'm shooting at 20 millimeters um, hopefully I should be able to smooth that water out to make it look like it's just like um, like silk coming down off the rock and we've got no wind so hopefully the uh, the, the tree will be frozen um, it's great it's lovely and we've got some lovely side light on it as well so yeah I'm gonna take this picture and uh, 
yeah, hopefully it'll be a great one. Right then, well that was a bit of an unscheduled stop, we just uh, stopped at Corby's Crags there, did a bit of uh, a time lapse, did a bit um, piece to camera and one or two nice shots uh, hopefully, um, the weather's absolutely fantastic, there's still snow on the ground in patches, it really has drifted quite badly here up in, in Northumberland, um, so yeah it's uh, it's, it's looking great, you know, fluffy white clouds, temperatures apparently 10 degrees, but my uh, my car's been known to be wrong by about 2 degrees, so it could be either 12 degrees or 8 degrees. So anyway, we're going to go down to Anak, we're going to grab some lunch, and then we're going to head off up the A1. I think I might have to pick my way around Bambra because uh, I think the A1 is closed there, so that could be interesting. Hopefully all the roads are open now, I think it will be, it's, it's not as bad as it was. And then uh, stop just north of Berwick, find this fisherman's boffy or smuggler's boffy. And then off up to Snabs uh, for the sunset, which uh, fingers crossed will happen. Um, but yeah, looking good. And just feeling great to be out of the house again and, and none of that horrible grey, icky, nasty cloud and rain. But it's looking like uh, it's going to be a good day. So, um, yeah, see you later. Right, we've made it to uh, St Abbs. We're in the car park by the visitor centre um, and after a bit of a run around, I've had to go into IMAT to get some change for the parking. I've realised I'm a member of the National Trust and I've got my badge in the car and I didn't have to do it anyway. But hey, then I got to see a bit more of this wonderful countryside around here. Um, what I plan to do is hike out to um, Petticoat Wick, which is a little bay, uh, maybe it's about a mile away from here, um, just underneath uh, St Ab's Head, which is where the lighthouse is, and it's also a uh, bird sanctuary. So that should take about an hour, maybe. Um, and we've got no, we've got about three hours till till uh, sunset. So hopefully, have a bit to scout around and see what we can find and get set up for some sunset shot. Sunset. <laughs> Try that again. I'll put my teeth in. Sunset shots. Um, so, uh, why don't you come along and uh, see you out there? Well, I'm here. Um, fantastic, absolutely amazing location. It was a fairly easy walk in. Um, I'm right on top of the cliffs now, just above Petico Wick. Sad thing is, can't get down. Um, path's been uh, taken away by a landslide. Um, I tried, but. Uh, it's a little bit too dangerous so what I'm planning on doing is shooting some time lapses and 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 waiting for the Sun to dip down up here uh, on top of the cliffs and uh, making the most of, of what I can it's fantastic to be out in the sunshine it's really quite warm um, just a bit yeah I couldn't get down there and, and uh, shoot some lovely scenes with the rocks but you know as soon as the Sun dips down and uh, 
should be able to, to, to get some nice shots from the top here. So uh, yeah, it's uh, I'm, I'm not going to come away empty handed, so there'll be something to show you guys. Um, but what a location. If you ever get the chance to come here to um, St Abbs Village or St Abbs Head, um, the lighthouse, the, 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 the nature reserve, um, jump at the opportunity. It's an amazing place. Anyway, I'm going to take some pictures. I'll catch you guys in a moment. Apologies if this is really bad sound in uh, everything uh, video. Um, I've actually left my video camera um, up, up, up there. Um, uh, I rushed down because I saw there was a potential shot. I'm quite happy um, with what I've got. I'm just going to quickly run through what I'm doing and then take the photograph. Um, essentially, camera's on F16 at ISO 100. I'm bracketing uh, two stops either side just to make sure everything works. Um, the F16 at ISO 100 with the polarizer and the ND grad and ND filter is giving me a one second shutter speed dish. Um, so hopefully that'll make the give us show some movement in the water. Um, and yeah, the sun's just hitting the cliffs really, really well. Uh, it looks amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm just I'll, what I'll do is I'll just um, cut to the, the, the view of the cliffs. And that's the view of the cliffs that I'm, I'm taking here at Petico Wick. Um, I'll just stick this on the live view for you so you can see it. And that is what I'm photographing. So I'll quickly take that photograph and then go back up to the top. Um, see you up um, at the top. Hey, hello! I've got my proper camera back. I'm on top of the cliffs here at um, St Abbs Head, just with Port. Uh, <laughs> Whitico Port? Port of Whitico? Something like that down there. I've said it right once already on this, this video, but anyway. Um, Went down, got some cracking shots down there. Sadly, I had to film it all on my iPhone because uh, I left this camera, the one I'm filming you guys on, or filming me on, filming you, but whatever. I left it up here. So I ended up going down there, down there, and having to shoot on my iPhone because I wasn't running all the way back up just to get the camera. So what I'm gonna do now, because even with the best laid plans, Oh, and there's rain coming that wasn't forecast um, there's not going to be a sunset there's a low level of cloud on the horizon now so what I'm going to do is I'm breaking out the 10 stop filter and we'll see we shall see what we can get done with that hopefully a monochrome shot or something like that I've got my camera set up here overlooking Portico Wick I remember how to say it um, I'm doing a, a two minute exposure uh, with a 10 stop filter. Uh, I think, well, we've lost the light now. Um, clouds coming in. I think it looks like there's some heavy rain on the horizon. Um, so I think we'll get this one in the bag and then, then head off back to the car, hopefully without getting wet. So what I'm doing is I've got 10 stop filter on the camera, which is giving a two, two minute exposure. It was one eighth of a second before I put the filter on at F16 at ISO 100. So with the F16, hopefully it'll give it a nice sharpness from front to back. Um, 
I'm hoping that, that it'll look good in monochrome. Um, the, the sea will certainly come out white and milky and misty. So that'll look uh, fairly cool. But what I really want to do, I'm going to have to come back here again. It's an amazing place. Um, yeah. So much promise. But I don't think we can get down the cove down there. I'll just turn you around and let you have a look. That's what I'm, I'm, I'm photographing. <laughs> I've been down, I've had a good look, and the uh, the entire cliff face looks like it's uh, ready to come away in places. So a bit of a bit of a pity, really. Um, anyway, I'll stop waffling and I'll uh, finish taking the photograph, and uh, we'll head for home. So um, as always. Um, if you like it, click like. If you want to subscribe, please subscribe um, and share with your friends. I'll uh, be seeing you later, so take care and bye-bye.